that one, one more. Uh, you know, President, uh, former President Trump has made some pretty wild posts uh, recently on social media. Uh, one of them was that uh, the cocaine found in the White House was had belonged to either the president or his son. Are you willing to say that that's not the case, that they don't belong to them? I, I don't have uh, a response to that because we have to be careful about the Hatch Act. Uh, what I will say is that I have noticed there does seem to be some increasing frustration coming from that corner in general. Uh, and I think it is probably rooted in the contrast between their substantive policy records. As you have all covered, there is a long list of areas where this administration succeeded for the middle class, where our predecessor did not. For example, infrastructure is no longer a punchline, and now the biggest infra infrastructure investments in 70 years are rebuilding America. President Biden is bringing manufacturing jobs back at the fastest rate in modern history. And like I mentioned, we have doubled the construction of manufacturing facilities in just two and a half years, whereas during the previous administration it only grew at an anemic 2%. Medicare is now negotiating lower drug costs. I'm old enough to remember when that was someone else's campaign promise. The economy we inherited was in free fall. We turned it around by creating more jobs in two years than any other president in four. So it would be unsurprising if there's a little bit of frustration on the part of people who worked in the last administration. And of course, this dovetails with today's announcement from Enphase. It comes at a moment when we have crossed the threshold of $500 billion in private sector investment due to Bidenomics, which is about growing our economy by growing the middle class. There's no better way to do that than giving people good jobs coming to America thanks to policies like the Inflation Reduction Act.